guys have fun? Yeah. So we limit it out. We've got a full five gallon bucket, two half five gallon buckets of fish, which is more than, of fillets, which is more than one full one. And there's some eggs in there. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to fish. Now we're gonna go home and put them in the smoker and we're gonna give some away too, I think. Okay, these are some of the fish, the salmon that we caught today. And I threw them on the grill. And I think they turned out pretty good. And Priscilla made some amazing food. What do you think, Wyatt? Are you hungry, buddy? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's still some corn on the cob. That's the last of it. It's looking a little, you know, like the last of the pieces. And just all this stuff from our garden is so good. There's some green beans with cheese. And Wyatt found these huge puff balls. They were like the size of a dinner plate. And that's what we're eating for their puffball mushrooms. <laughs> Good job, baby. Looks awesome. Fourteen. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do today is we're going to smoke some salmon. You saw the salmon that we caught in the river. And right here they are. There's actually just a couple of these that we didn't fillet, but everything else is completely full of fillets. So we're gonna take and smoke most of these, or at least at least some of them. And so now we're mixing our brine together. And we have, I'll put the recipe below in the description box. Uh, but right now we put in, for a full batch, 14 cups water, one cup salt, two cups brown sugar, and two cups of honey. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna add the brown sugar. Okay, we're adding the two cups of brown sugar. And so we're in the neighborhood of there, I think. Should be good. Okay, we're putting this honey in here. It had sugar, so I had to warm it up to liquef re liquefy it. Let's see, where's my two cups? Somewhere in that neighborhood there. Okay, we're putting the honey in there. Whoa, there's a glob. Evelyn, would you get me a scraper? Yes. This is gonna be some of the best tasting salmon I've ever tasted. This is a secret recipe that comes from the the wilds of Alaska. I'll have to tell you about, about it here just a little bit later. Hey, now we're gonna put these delicious fillets in here. See how many we can get in here. We'll come and stir them after a while. And we're gonna leave these in here for about 10 hours. So good. Wow, I don't know how many we can get in the smoker, Ethan. What do you think? That might be about it. Mm -hmm. I call that good right there. Maybe a few more. We're gonna go get do some more snagging, so. There's still quite a few there for the freezer. I think that's good. We'll bag the rest of those and freeze those. Okay, now we're just gonna make sure that everything is covered really well and we'll cover it with some saran wrap. Avalon, you want to get some saran wrap and we'll put it over the top and we'll let that set for like 10 hours and we'll stir it every once in a while. We'll leave that right there so we can grab it when we need it. Okay. Okay, so the recipe is calling for 10 hours of these fish soaking in the brine and I've actually had them in probably like 20 hours because we put them in last night and this is now the next afternoon and uh, I just haven't had time to get to it. So I've got the fish in the brine and I've got these uh, strainers and I'm just gonna put the flays in here, strain them out, uh, let's strain the water out and I'm gonna spread them out and kind of pat dry them with paper towels and then I'm gonna blow a fan on them for a couple hours until they're a little tacky before I put them in the smoker. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm only gonna use this brine 
uh, once. I don't think I want to use it more than once. Um, I've tried that before and it just seems that uh, it, it doesn't really taste very good the second time around. So I'm just gonna go with dumping it. It is a bit expensive because it takes the two cups of honey, um, but I think it, this is gonna make a lot of fish. This is, there's a lot of fillets in here and I did a full batch. So we're just gonna dump it, I think, and uh, call it good. So Chloe's helping me today as usual. Yep. I had it in there to stir it around the little spoon. So, I'm just gonna let that drain for a bit. And then we're gonna put them on paper towels and get them um, starting to dry here. Okay, now I'm just taking these uh, fillets out and I'm um, just setting them here on this, um, these paper towels to dry. And look at these beautiful fillets. Oh, they're so beautiful. Just amazing. So I'm gonna lay them out here and then I'm going to um, take a fan and blow uh, air on them for a couple hours until they're just kind of tacky. And then we're gonna get the smoker fired up and put them in the smoker. So this is really awesome, these fillets. Some of these are bigger than others. Some of the fish were really big and others were kind of medium sized, but a five gallon bucket full of fillets is what we got. So they definitely have some size to them, that's for sure. Okay, I think I can get them all on here. I've got about half of them laid out, not quite. So Chloe, should we put the other ones over here? Okay, now I've got all my fillets laid out and they're is a whole fish. I decided to smoke a couple uh, whole ones and here are the rest of them and they got them all laid out there. Kind of different colors. Some are more orange than others. They're all beautiful. I didn't do the best job of playing. I was out on the rocks when I did it so I wasn't at home and then some were a little chopped up but still got a lot of meat. So we froze a bunch and we gave some to friends so this is what's left for uh, smoking. I've got the fan blowing and kind of blows across here. I'll, I'll probably have to come and adjust the fan a little bit and put it over here towards the corner. But I'm gonna keep blow it for a little while until it, the moisture kind of comes off of these a little bit more because they're still pretty wet before I pop them in the smoker. I've had the uh, blower fan on here for probably about 30 minutes or 45 minutes and you can see it's might be hard to see from the video, but it's uh, it's definitely a lot drier and it's getting a little tacky. And I'm just letting it blow on these a little bit more because these were kind of far away and they're a little bit more shiny, but they're drying right up really nice. So I'm going to leave these uh, fillets sitting here for probably about another hour. I'm gonna turn the fan off here shortly and then I'm gonna start smoking. I would smoke them a little bit sooner, but I have to make another errand run the town so as soon as I get back we're gonna get started smoking these things. Beautiful day and I'm standing up behind my orchard in the garden and here is all the prunings uh, all these little sticks and prunings by my chickens so I'm just literally gonna take these prunings and they're like from apples and plums and we're, that's what we're gonna use to smoke with so Wyatt you're gonna help me ready buddy right? Mm -hmm. Okay we're gonna get these little sticks and put them in the box right here and uh, use a little chainsaw to cut them up if we need to. Okay, Wyatt, let's put some charcoal in the smoker. Now, I'm gonna use a little bit of lighter fluid, and I don't like to use a lot of it, but it does make it really handy. And I'm gonna leave this open to kind of let the lighter fluid burn off, but I'm just gonna add some lighter fluid right here. Give it a good soaking so that it, it lights real quick. And then I'm gonna let Wyatt, Wyatt light it, because he wants to light it really badly. Okay, Wyatt, go ahead and see if you can light it. You have to stick it right down in there. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna let that get to a nice bed of charcoal. Probably about 10 minutes and we'll push it shut. Start heating it up. Okay, now we're gonna take these fishies and put them on this tray right here and then we're gonna take them out to the smoker. And I got Chloe and why it's important that they help.
that are doing such a good job. It's really important to have your kids help you. Really important. Even if they can't do it as good as you, it's so important that they help you. Look how fun they're having. Okay, we're gonna get the rest of these fishies on here. There's our ginormous pile of salmon. Delicious. Okay, now we're gonna go throw them on the smoker, eh boys and girls? <laughs> okay, now we've got all these fish right here and this thing's been preheated to about 200 degrees. So we're gonna lay all these fish in here. Okay, Wyatt, well, you gotta slide all the way in the back. There you go. Okay, yep, skin side down. Get one tray filled up here. Okay, wonderful. Right, right on that, Wyatt. Just wait for one to get dropped. Okay, now over here. And one more. Get in there, sweet. Okay, now we're gonna put that one full. Fill that, that one in. Hang on, Chloe, we gotta close this up. Nope, this isn't gonna work, guys. Together a little bit here. I'm smoking it. <laughs> this is so nice. to smoke it. Okay. We just okay, well, we had a major accident. It fell off of here and they kind of fell in the dirt, so we're going to have to somehow clean them, I guess. Not too big a deal, but still kind of a big deal. But we'll get it figured out, I guess. We'll see. Here's the salmon lid. I'm gonna s and put it in the smoker. <laughs> Now the salmon are all in there. There actually is a little pile of salmon right here. I couldn't get inside. So I guess we'll have to do them, finish smoking these and then put, put those in. So I'm just gonna stock this up to get the smoke going real heavy. Kind of get a good fire going in there and uh, get the heat up. Right now we're, I wanna sit it right between 200 and 250 degrees for about an hour and a half to two hours of smoking. So that's my, my goal. So basically what the briguettes do, they just hold, kind of hold a temperature. And then this wood here uh, ends up making the smoke. And I have a damper on the side I'll show you um, that I can use to make it uh, burn more or less. So right here's the, the damper. I, when it, it's burning too hot, I'll just go ahead and shut it like that. And then it'll, it'll shut it down. But right now I'm gonna keep it open for a few minutes until it really starts burning. But now you can see that the smoke is starting to come out. And I can also shut this down, which I'm gonna shut this down. I'll shut that partly down. You can't close it all the way down, but mostly just so it kind of keeps more of the smoke in there. So now let's open this up and I'll show you just in this matter, just like 30 seconds. Look at all that smoke that's coming out of there. So we'll let it sit there for like an hour and a half. And because of all the fish, it's slowly building up temperature. It's only just a little over 100 degrees, but it's gonna heat up just in a couple minutes. So we'll come back and we'll check it out here in a few minutes. But yeah, I like this smoker and some of those, the new Traeger grills and stuff work really good too, but this is kind of a, a poor man's way of smoking if you like to smoke with briguettes and uh, just wood. So I like it. There's other better ways of smoking too, but uh, it seems to work for me. No, no Rosie. One thing I was gonna mention about the salmon uh, I know last year I made a video of it and some people mentioned how illegal it is and everything to snag salmon. Well, actually right here, there's about one half a mile stretch uh, in our in our river that you can actually still snag with big snagging hooks. And it's a lot of fun. Um, a lot of places it's illegal, but this is one spot that it's still legal. And so we go down there. This provides a lot of meat for us in the summer, uh, for the winter. 
So every September 15th when the season opens, we go down there and you can get 20 a day of these salmon. So we go a couple times and we really stock up on the smoked salmon. Uh, Priscilla cans a lot of salmon and we also freeze it and of course give it away to friends and stuff. So it really helps us out with the food. So that's that's really nice. But let's give it one more, one more shot. We're up to about 150 degrees and it's really smoking away. So that's really good. So we'll come back and check it out in just a bit. All right, let's go see how it's doing. Okay, it's still, it's a little bit low, so I'm gonna have to fire it up. It's been an hour and a half now. See how this fire's looking here? Yeah, I can't really tell with the flash on, but I'll add some more wood. See how the fish are doing? Oh yeah, looking good, looking good. Definitely getting smoked. About another hour and we're done. I'll add some more wood. Okay, it's now 10 o'clock. It's three hours since I put these fish in. And uh, there they are. They taste amazing. But I had this really... I had trouble getting them off the grill. Uh, off the... Not grill, but they just wanted to stick. Uh, the skin wanted to stick so badly. And I could hardly get them off. But they taste good. And so I guess that's the main thing. They kind of... Some of them fell apart a little bit. But there it is, and I didn't quite get all of them in there the first time. So what I'm, what I did is, um, I uh, just stoked the fire up really uh, a lot, and I put those like eight or dozen fillets in there that I didn't get the first time, and I'm just gonna let the fire burn out. Hopefully they don't scorch, or hopefully they're done in the morning because it's bedtime and I gotta get up for work. So there you go. Um, we're gonna wrap them tomorrow and we'll go from there. Well, I got the um, fish out of the smoker this morning and they're definitely more jerky-like in appearance. I really stoked up the fire and I think they were just in there too long. Well, that's all right, they'll, they'll eat just fine. Um, this was one of them right here. And uh, I think it turned out, this is one of the better ones. It turned out really nice actually, but some of them were a little on the dry side. And it depends on how close if like the top tray doesn't heat as well as the bottom tray, which that's closer to the flame. So I actually had flipped them over. But I think it would be good to actually rotate all of them. So like you take the top one, put it at the bottom, the second top one, and put it from the second bottom up like that. That way you have a little bit more of a even fire. Um, but anyways, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I have to go to work now early this morning. So I'm just gonna put them in the fridge today. I'm not gonna cover them because I think they'd sweat and I don't want that. So when I get home from work this evening, I'm going to wrap them in, in individual um, saran wrap, and then we're going to um, you know, put some of those in the freezer bags and then and freeze them. Then we, whenever we want, we'll just pull out a bag of these guys and uh, eat them. So here we go, off to work, and then uh, we'll bag them later, but they are really delicious. Okay, now we're wrapping them. We're wrapping each filet in a little, piece of saran wrap, and then we're going to put them in freezer bags. Yay, Avalon, bring it in. Pick it up, pick it up. Let's go. Over this way, this way, this way. Woo, that's a big one, Avalon. Paul's in a huge hunt. Woo, that's, big male. That's a daddy. That's a daddy, all right. <laughs> nice going, girlie. <laughs> 